I'm Kelly Page, Collections Manager here at Maine Maritime Museum, and today we're going to be talking about some of the natural history specimens that have made their way into our collections. So first up, we're going to talk about some of the things in the collection that look like normal man-made things, but are actually made predominantly out of um, pieces of oceanic creatures. You'll notice that this item right here has a handle made out of bone, but that's not what's interesting about it. Um, the stick part of the cane is actually made out of a manta ray tail. Um, some of you would be familiar with what a stingray is, but a manta ray is just a much larger version of that. We're still talking about canes here, um, but this one is made, made mainly out of shark vertebrae. Um, it also happens to be interspersed with pieces of horn, which likely would be a uh, cattle horn. The next item here is actually something that was brought back um, as more of a souvenir. This is a piece of coral, and it's associated with a uh, man named Harold Marsh Sewell. Um, his family um, is better known in our museum for their shipbuilding and ship owning um, business but he was um, the Consul General in um, American Samoa for five years. So he brought this back with him about the 1890. What we have here um, is um, a section of baleen that came out of a whale's mouth. What baleen is, um, is something that helps the whale filter their food. For how large they are, they eat actually very tiny marine creatures. And the baleen helps them um, when they swallow giant mouthfuls of water. It keeps all the very small things that they eat in their mouths. Baleen actually had some uses um, in the commercial sphere. Um, whales were harvested partially for baleen. Um, it served as what we would now use a lot of plastics for. Um, it was in corsets. Um, Umbrella handles were made out of it, so it was sort of like a thin, hard plastic. Um, the other thing whales were um, harvested for was oil. So things that we would now use for lubrication or um, for lamps um, was actually made out of uh, the blubber of whales. Just to give you an idea of the size of some of these whales, this is a single vertebrae from a whale. Um, this is associated with a captain from Topsom, Maine, Captain Walter Mallet, um, and he went to sea from about 1875 to uh, World War I. Last but not least, we just have a really cool thing that comes from a sea creature. Um, this guy right here is um, the rostra or saw from a sawfish. And sawfish are really long and skinny, um, but they're actually um, related to stingrays. Because these guys were kind of scary looking, they kind of got a bad reputation. Sailors thought that they were a threat to their vessels when really all they used these teeth for were to uh, massacre a school of fish uh, for their lunch. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join us again.